Fox 2's Taryn Asher tells us how new jobs are being created because of old age. The dramatic downsizing of Michigan's automotive and manufacturing industry has had an unprecedented ripple effect, forcing many people to abandon the only job skills they've ever known and head back to school to find a new future. Like Ann Clark, who did just that and still had a tough time getting hired. I was applying for some jobs. There are 500, 700 people applying for one position. And it I said, this is ridiculous. And trained for a year to become a certified nurse's aide and quickly discovered the need for in-home caregivers. Good, Mr. Wagner. That's awesome. Three days after completing her courses, senior helpers hired her to care for Zvi Wagner. It's growing. There's job out there. If you want this job, this job. And it's a very fulfilling. Ann Clark has become part of the booming industry of in-home care. It's a fact more people are living longer, which means more people are needed to take care of them. Statistics show the in-home care industry will grow by 12.5% this year, creating more than 100,000 jobs. The youngest baby boomer this year will be 46. The oldest will be 64. Tony Fama created 50plusprime.com, a website that focuses on helping baby boomers rebrand themselves in this changing job market. He says the nation's largest generation is contributing to this surge of employment. In large part, that is because our aging population is in need of greater health care services. With the improvements in medicines and the improvement in the way people are living their lives, they're living longer and so there's more of a demand to help those people in their homes. A demand Barbara Roden has seen firsthand as the owner of Senior Helpers in Farmington Hills, Roden is hiring people like Ann Clark. Senior Helpers has so many clients, Roden's doubled her staff over the last year. The positions pay anywhere from $8 to $12 an hour, depending on the caregiver's skills and duties. Tremendous growth. We have had month after month increases since we have opened. And the field is only expected to grow. The U.S. government predicts 20% of the total population will be 65 years or older within the next 20 years. And ultimately, there will be fewer adult children to care for their aging parents. The best service that sick people can get is being in their own home and taking care. You feel like a human being, not being kicked around, you know. Mr. Wagner is grateful he'll be able to age with dignity in his own home, thanks yeah. to his caregiver, Anne. And this is one of your business? This was part, in the, was part of my business. A position Anne is pleased she pursued and now considers a labor of love. I always have a soft spot for seniors. <laughs> so there I am. Yeah. And they always want me back. I'm proud to say. If you have what it takes to become a caregiver, we put all the information on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. Just search the job shop. The I'm Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News. And then you know that uh, healthcare is Michigan's leading industry now, so mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're only expecting those jobs to keep growing and yeah. doubling, so there's a lot out there. Yeah, and you know, a really good caregiver is such a necessity when you know, for parents, and uh, you know, I had to deal with that myself, and it was, you know, the caregiver we found for my mom was, she, you know, became like part of the family. Like well, an angel, it, right? Yeah. It, it is very difficult to find, mm -hmm. very difficult to find, so it's a, it's a good thing that so many wonderful people are out there trying to. Yeah. Jobs to be business. had. That's not right. difficult to find good coffee in Ferndale. No, there's not. No, there's, there's not.